I'm ready. But I'm tired. But we can do this. What is up you guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, hi, my name is Libby. It's nice to have you. So today I'm actually starting a brand new video. It's going to be spanning the entire week, but it's going to be vlog style. So what I'm going to be doing is waking up every single day at 5 a.m. I'm gonna see if I can actually do it and then I'm gonna be going to the gym first thing in the morning. I usually wake up around like 8 to 9 in the morning, but I do want to establish a lot more discipline for myself and to see if I'm capable of actually waking up, maintaining this earlier schedule and getting my workout out of the way. It's definitely different for me and for somebody who does work from home, my job is social media. I get to set my own hours and I do have the luxury of waking up whenever I would like but I would like to actually have a better schedule and I want to actually be disciplined. Um, a lot of the reason behind why I wanted to do this is just to know that I'm capable of it. I like to test myself and kind of challenge myself in different ways. Also, Gymshark 66 is currently going on. If you guys haven't heard of Gymshark 66, Gymshark puts on a challenge or event every single year at the very beginning of the year where they ask you to develop a new habit that you can get into whether that is starting fitness starting to journal more it could be anything under the sun but they ask you to do that for 66 days and they believe that it takes 66 days to establish a good habit and then it also takes 66 days to change your life completely so i'm hoping with this that i'm able to kind of maintain this i hope that it has more longevity than just waking up at 5 a.m for an entire week i want to kind of carry this into my normal routine and implement it in different ways through this i have asked five of my friends to write a workout for each day of the week to kind of help create my new workout split although i could write my own workouts i wanted to have a breath of fresh air and to kind of try new things that other people are interested in or what they like to do when they work out so on Monday, I have my friend Haley writing my workout. On Tuesday, I have Sarah. Wednesday is Tyra. Thursday is a Jazzy, and Friday is going to be Bex. So I will have all of them linked down below so you guys can check out each of their Instagram pages. They post workouts. They're all very different, but also very inspiring, and I really love following all of them. They're great people. I am excited to take you guys with me. This is definitely going to be different for me, but it's going to be a challenge that I'm up for, and I hope you guys are trying something new this year. Let me know what you guys are interested in doing if you are going to be trying the Gymshark 66 challenge. I thought that this would be a new way for me to switch up my routine, and it would be interesting to actually document for you guys, so you're going to get to see me wake up at 5 a.m. and not be a very happy camper, but I'm going to push through it and finish the workout. So if you guys enjoy this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Comment below what you guys might be doing for Gymshark 66 or just to change up your routine in general. I will have all of the workouts on my Instagram as well, Libby Christensen. You guys can follow me there. If you want any other workouts, you guys can go to the guide section and then kind of scroll through what you would like to do. It kind of makes it easier to categorize things like that. Don't forget to subscribe as well. But without further ado, I know this is going to be a lengthy video because it's going to be five days of vlogging and workouts. So I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you on Monday. for real about it before 5 a.m. two in the morning. I set out my outfits right here. This is today's outfit for leg day. I have my obsidian green camo seamless and the focus bra. Let's get changed and go get some food in our belly. 
Okay, this is today's outfit. I laid everything out so it was really nice, but I have the Focus Bralette on and the Obsidian Green Camo Seamless Leggings. back on because I was cold but I promise I'm dressed and I'm ready to go to the gym have my greens that I've drank a little bit of and I have my little bowl of oatmeal she's cute I just have peanut butter banana cinnamon honey and my oats in here um, I just have to eat this put my shoes on do my hair if I'm gonna do my hair and then head out the door and the time is 5:23. So I'm feeling good. Everybody that is part of this little morning crew that does wake up every day at this time has messaged me. They're like, wake up, wake up. And I'm like, I'm up, I'm up. Okay, we stuck with a bun. I'm feeling out of the loop because I cannot find my Apple Watch and I'm on my find my devices. And it's not playing the sound, it might be dead. Here's baby. All right, it's so dark. I just have this light. I just did my dry scoop and I see Tayo. She's parked up front and we're about to go inside and work out. Very proud of myself. It's 6.10. Um, I live a little bit farther from this gym, but I was up at 4.50. Like, we're good. It's time to grind. <sighs> All right, see you inside. <laughs> lunges and we have step ups and cable pointers left. I'll have the workout in the description and I'll also have it on my Instagram of course. But this one was curated by Haley. Miss Haley Polk, Miss Haley Jordan Fit. I'll put her username right here. I called all my friends and asked them to give me a whole workout for a random day this week and Haley chose to destroy my legs. And Tyra decided to tag along so we're both going through it right now but it's a great workout so gonna get these step ups and we should be good to go so i'm taking over the vlog um libby is actually trying to kill me we're doing i think she mentioned it but Haley's workout currently that she sent her and already we're three exercises in and my body is not gonna do this so i'm done as possible so let us go I don't favor the ones that like move your entire body when you're kicking out so I'm gonna move to this one back here because that's one I'm more familiar with and it feels better I don't know I feel like I can isolate my quads better this girl 
It's Tyra's turn. The first one, I did 25 at 125 pounds. And then the second one, I did, what, 15 at, what is that, 115. My quads hurt. But we're going to stretch, and then I'll be going home. Guys, we're back. Um, it is currently 8.40. I feel like Tyra and I always take like quite a bit of time at the gym, but um, that was great. I'm like really happy that I got up early and actually came to work out. I feel accomplished. And I feel like I have my whole day ahead of me. I have a call, I have to get gas. I have a call at 10 a.m. So I have like an hour, but I'm gonna stop by my sister for a second, probably go home, eat some food again. Might grab some Starbs on the way, it depends. But these hands, like they're tragic. Um, I think I'm just gonna do little check-ins with you guys after each day so I can keep this all in one vlog. If you guys do wanna see the entire workout, you can go to my Instagram, Libby Christensen, and I will have everything, the sets and reps up there. That'll be easier because I don't wanna include too much footage because I do wanna keep five days in this vlog. But I felt really energized getting up this morning. I was kind of excited. So I woke up at 4.50 and then I was like on the move. So I feel like this is something that I can implement and I think that it will make me more productive throughout my days. But ah, I'm glad I got to share it with you guys. So I will probably check back in later today or I might see you guys tomorrow morning, bright and early. Once again, tomorrow is going to be upper body day and it is a workout that I asked Sarah to write. What even is this? What is my hair doing? Okay, I'm up. I just had to remove the extra ponytails from my hair and it took forever. There's hairs everywhere. I'm literally shedding like crazy. It is 5.11 and I'm awake. About to splash some water on my face, get dressed, go have some food. And go to the gym. It's outfit time. It's outfit time, it's outfit time, it's outfit time. So, for today's outfit, we have this here, some blue, the Adapt Marl Seamless Blue Sports Bra, and then I also have the new Fit Leggings. This is what they look like. They have Drum Shark on the back. Okay. I still haven't done my hair, but this is today's outfit. This is the Adapt Marl Seamless Sports Bra. Cute in the blue, and then I have these new fit leggings on. They have the gray on the back. Super stretchy, super comfy. Um, I feel like a lot of people don't have fit leggings, but they're fantastic. breakfast baby delicioso ah. we started the car so she's warming up ah. all right I'm in the car I need to go it's time um good morning and we're here guys the workout is complete <sighs> my thoughts on today's workout um 
it was great I usually do not excuse me I usually don't do um like chest at all but today was a complete push day Sarah really challenged me and Tyra because I don't do dumbbell flies I don't do chest press I don't do bench press all those things all that often but it was a great challenge like I know I'm going to be sore but it also really hit my shoulders and my triceps it was a well-rounded amazing workout and I would definitely recommend giving it a try in terms of waking up this morning y'all I went to bed at 11 p.m. that was dumb of me but I just got carried away on my phone it was a great time but waking up I knew I was gonna be upset about it so I had to force myself up out of the bed but once I got started with my day and once I actually started moving around I was ready to go like I was excited that I was awake and ready to come work out so I don't know I feel like every day gets a little bit more easy to tackle the first day I was like shocked I was like this can't be happening right now but I'm excited for tomorrow it's gonna be another leg day Tyra's riding that workout happy about this workout for sure shout out to Sarah SG lifts if you guys don't follow her you should She's a great friend of mine, but I will see you guys tomorrow morning. We're going to try it again, man. I'm looking like a mess, but it's 5.12 and this is today's outfit. Breakfast. Okay, hey, homegirls, it's eight. Um, I have my cup already and I have my pre-workout, so we're gonna head to the gym. It is 5.44, I'm good on time. I should get there by six. Um, and then today is Wednesday, so it's going to be leg day. Tyra wrote this one, so I'm excited. I think she's going a little easy on us because we've been really hammering these past couple days. because we've done the last two days together. So she didn't go so crazy with this workout, but it still was very challenging. We're gonna be doing a Jazzy's workout tomorrow, which is gonna be a pull day. And then Friday we have Bexy's workout, functional full body. But we're gonna go sit in the sauna. You guys, sauna. <laughs> Hello, you guys. I need to remind myself not to leave those lights on. Um, back in the car. Uh, I'm a little booty tickled because JJ and I yesterday literally went to the car wash because it had snowed and my car was like dirty and whatnot and it's raining <laughs> right now so I feel good. I am really proud of myself for waking up and actually getting this stuff done. It really has set me up for a better day. I will say I don't typically crash like midway through the day but I do feel a little bit of that like tiredness but if I and productive something to occupy my time then I'm just fine um, and I've been going to bed a lot easier not earlier but it's easier for me to fall asleep which is great I think I'm gonna go to Starbucks and if you guys would like to go to Starbucks please be kind people um, I have filled a gift card to Starbucks with $50 so if you guys would like to screenshot this there and have some Starbucks on me. Get yourself a coffee for waking up if you guys are doing the same kind of challenge. I would love to treat you guys to something. But I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. Let me know what you think. I know it's going to be lengthy. I have two more days of this. But it's really helping. I'm feeling good. I'm going to go home, do a few calls, do a little bit of work, editing, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Shorts are on the menu today. Um, wearing the speed shorts and the bando training bra. Okay, this is the fit. This is the fit. Hi. 
There's the handsome boy. But I'm ready to go. It's 5.30 and we're gonna hit the road. I'll see you guys at the gym for our dry skate. Today was an upper body day. It was a pull day brought to us by a Jazzy and definitely challenged us. I think that supersetting the bent over barbell rows with the inverted rows, definitely killer. If you want a big challenge, don't bend your legs at all. Just do straight legs. And then you can also do like a different variation, have your legs on a box or just bend your knees and still pull up. That stuff was killer. Tomorrow's going to be Bexy's day and I know she's gonna put us through hell because she's like, one of the best like functional mobility like well-rounded trainers ever she just dropped her home guide and her gym guide so go purchase if you guys would like i am purchasing because i want to support my friend and she's great i trust her 100 percent. she's so passionate about what she does she's only 20 years old but i got up i was up and i was ready to go i think doing this for four days now i feel like i'm in a routine and i definitely can see some longevity in this maybe not 5 a.m every day but i could definitely wake up early in the morning and get to the gym and use that discipline um but yeah i'm really happy that i did this because it's kind of taught me a lot about myself like i'm much more capable than i thought i was i've enjoyed this i am going to head home but i will see you guys in the morning for the last workout of the week Oh, I'm freezing, but I'm wearing the Whitney um, crop top from this year's or 2020's collection. And then I have the Vital Seamless shorts on, the chocolate ones. And I just have some other joggers on because I'm so cold. But making my breakfast and then we're heading out the door. All right, you guys, we're here. It's the last day. I can't believe it. Like I said, this week has gone by so fast. And I can't believe I've waked woken up at 5 a.m. every single day this week but i'm really really proud of myself and i can't believe like oh i did it yay i have my breeze baby pre-workout here and i'm about to get this dry scoop in this is bexy's workout probably the one i'm most terrified about just because it's functional full body and although i love plyometrics i don't do them all that often but i think that this will be a great switch up and a great way to end off this entire week um i'm super excited but i shall dry scoop to go work out and I feel so good and I'm so proud of myself for actually sticking to it every single day I didn't sleep in at all I got here by six o'clock and every single workout was amazing the one that I just finished was done by Bexy amazing literally such a great conditioning workout definitely focused on function and mobility and um, also plyometrics which I really love but it was so great I will have her here of course for you guys to go check out um, and yeah, all of these workouts that you guys saw snippets of are on my Instagram now, so feel free to go check those out and give them a try. Um, if you guys are doing Gymshark 66, the Power Hour 66, please let me know. I will definitely be waking up earlier, and this is the week this video is up. Um, this is the week that that happens, so be ready for it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will give you my final thoughts when I get home, though. What is up, you guys? Happy Saturday. I just wanted to wrap up this video with you guys and let you know my final thoughts. 
This week definitely tested me waking up so early. I definitely felt as though I needed to take naps later in the day around like one to two o'clock. Um, I think I only took like two naps. No, I think I took one nap this entire week and it was when I was watching my niece. Other than that, I kind of just, just pushed through so it'd be easier for me to fall asleep. And this morning I set an alarm for nine o'clock because that's when I wanted to be up by, but my body woke up at like 7.45, eight o'clock and I just kind of laid there and I was like, am I gonna go back to sleep? What's going on? But my body's definitely been trained to uh, kind of wake up early and go to bed earlier as well because Last night, I swear I was like chilling here at nine and then around 10, I started to get a little bit tired, which is so unlike me, especially on the weekends when I don't have to wake up early, but my body's gotten into this cycle. So I'm really happy about that actually. I like that I'm prompting myself to get up without having to feel like I'm like dragging myself out of bed. Definitely was a positive experience and I'm excited to kind of carry this into the next weeks or whatever and especially for gymshark 66 i know a lot of you guys have already tagged me in your stories today waking up early i think that also having a partner or a friend that can come with you to the gym really holds you accountable and for me the things that were holding me accountable was one tyra was going to be there with me two i was actually filming tiktoks every single day um, of waking up early and also this YouTube video. In addition to that, so many of you guys were messaging me on Instagram at like five in the morning, Libby, are you up, are you up? Yes, I'm up. And I think having some sense of community, especially with the Gymshark community, really, really helps if you can set these goals for yourself. It becomes easier to attain them over time when you have a community that's really backing you and it's there for you. But at the end of the day, I wanted to do this for myself. I wanted to test my own limits, see what I was capable of and it worked out really well and I feel really energized and ready to take on this next week. I feel so much more productive getting up in the morning that early. I'm really happy that I did this. If you guys have any other little challenges that you guys would like me to try, please let me know down below. Let me know what you thought of everything. Both my friends will be linked below. I've also mentioned them in the video. They're fantastic. All of my workouts will be on my Instagram. You guys probably have seen them by now. I think I have one more to upload and that is the Friday one. A killer so good thank you guys so much for watching and going through this week with me at 5 a.m um if you enjoyed please make sure to give this video a thumbs up i hope you guys have a fantastic week starting this week um if you're participating in jump shark 66 and power hour 66 let me know but i will talk to you guys later